Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to fix the pan on the transmission and a couple of other little things. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It's very close to getting started and don't want you guys to miss out on this. So make sure you hit that notification bell as well. First up, we're gonna go under the car and drain the transmission fluid so we can get the pan off. All right, guys, we are under, if you can see up here from the other week, well, last week, we don't have any drips anymore. You can see here we've got a lot of fluid sitting around the pan so uh we're gonna clean this out this pan out and um we'll drain it and then we'll get that off tonight oh this is hard Alright, so we've got the plug off, it's draining. I'll let it drain for a bit and then I'll get all these 10 mils off. And uh, we'll drop the pan and clean up the surfaces. And I probably won't put the pan back on until tomorrow, so Sunday. Just let things uh, drip off and clean it up and yeah. And I won't put fluid back in for for a while to let it all um, set properly without any trans fluid getting in anywhere and allowing like a little channel to come out through the sealant. All right, so I've already got the five bolts out of the front, just so I wouldn't get in front of the camera. And I've already drained the trans fluid. So from all right, that's all of them. So now I've got to I'll go get a screwdriver and pry it off. All right, let's see here we go. I've got a lot of sealing on this. Well, didn't do the job, did it? It's like I had a little, yeah, I've got like a little bubble of fluid in the back here. Uh, doesn't want to come off. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. that oil to come out. Oh, fluid. There it comes. Oh my god. Alrighty guys, I'm back. It's the next day. Uh, just after lunch. Just finished lunch. Should have had this upside down, draining overnight. Still got a little bit of fluid in there. I'll, I'll wipe that out. And um, I'll just sit on this tire and scrape all this off. And I'll have to bend it all back. So, uh, all right, clean up the edges. I'm using 
drill and a little wire wheel to clean up. Do a little bit more cleaning up. We're going to flatten this out. So I'll sweep up here actually and then I might try it just here. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to put this plate on the ground. I don't think it's flush on the ground, that's the thing. I don't think it's flat. So we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, by the looks of it, that's going to work. It's all flat. Until we get to here where I started prying it off the transmission. So, should be able to hit that back down. Make it all flush. Cool. There we have it guys, all bashed down. Use this hammer to get in there as well, on both sides. So, flatten that down. We'll hammer it down on this edge first. Then hammer it there, there, and that way. So, the floor's not level, but... I think that's, that's a lot better. Should maybe just here. That's, uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to come back later tonight and uh, clean up the transmission and glue it back together. We'll RTV it back together. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more around this edge, or this side, and then I'll stick it back on, let it sit for a couple of days, wait for my AN lines, hoses to come in still. And then I fill it up with um, trans fluid. All right, I'm back. Um, I've been a bit lazy this week. Um, it's Tuesday night now, and sorry I didn't get any uploads Monday, Tuesday, but we will have this one out for Thursday, and a bit of a surprise for Friday maybe. But, um, yeah, so we've got this this. Um, sump flat so I need to get under and clean up the other surface then we'll uh, get that back on and then I need to put JB weld on that fitting on that oil fitting the feed for the TDO5 just to be just to be sure that it won't come out um, it's down there and I did I did go in couple of threads with JB Weld on it as well so just want to be certain all right I'm not I'm not going to film underneath the car I think I've already done some filming under it for this episode it's been over about a, a week or so I've been doing this one so um yeah we'll come back man back into the engine bay all right guys so I've got the sump back onto the transmission um, it's just finger tight, um, so it needs to cure for about an hour, and I talk it to spec, and then it's about 24 hours before it actually completely dries, and I can put fluid back in, which the other times I haven't been doing that, so that's probably why it's been leaking, I haven't been following the instructions on the particular um, sealant that I'm using, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't leak this time. Um, I'm going to put a cable tie onto the power cable that comes from the center console to the front, just hanging down a little bit low. So while I'm down in that area, I'm going to drill a hole and um, I'll put a cable tie in. This is actually. One of these ones, so 
goes into the hole and around the cable and then uh, we'll do JB weld onto the oil feed up here so because that sounds going to take 24 hours um, I'm quite confident that the JB weld will um, seal up and everything else that I need to do before I start the car will be all good so Keep chugging away at it. It's about 10 past 11. Yep. So, uh, it's going to be a late one or an early one tonight. Good tomorrow off anyway, so all good. Alrighty, guys. So, there we go. We got a zip tie in on that actual little uh, piece of metal coming out there. So, it's not going to touch the drive shaft, which is good. Um, so while I was under here doing the pan, I looked up here. That's where the coupler is for the cooler pipe that I thought I couldn't get to. So if I can spin those um, clamps around, I can go from the backside here to um, tighten them up if I need to. So that's pretty cool. I think I might have to. I, didn't, I don't think I've done them up properly. So, yeah. um, th this cable should be fine, just like that. If not, I can um, cable tie it to that hard line there. I think that's a brake line. Um, I'll just give it a little bit more up there. Yeah, I might do that now, actually. Alrighty, guys. It's about 20 past 12 now. So, I have talked um, the sump up I'm just going to put the exhaust back on and then remember that I actually need to put the heater hose on I'm going to clamp that on properly and put some heat wrap onto that too some of this, this stuff here which I've got somewhere anyways I'll do that I'll get the exhaust on and while I've got this pipe off, I will um, do the JB weld. Hey right, guys, got the hose clamps on. Actually, don't have any more of that heat wrap. I used it underneath with the water. So I'm just gonna tuck it behind this one. Obviously, the dump pipe has the heat wrap as well. And down there, I've put the JB weld on. Um, yeah, this is going to be my breather. <laughs> um, let's put the dump pipe on. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to finish up this episode here. We've got the uh, dump pipe on, we've got the O2 center bung on, we've got the heater pipe on. We've Put some more JB Weld there. We have the sump. <laughs> we have the sump back on. We've got the dump on. We've got this O2 sensor in here. We've got the mid pipe on. We are close, boys. We are very close. And something showed up. That will be next episode. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you next episode. Bye.